guys, thank you so much for joining another episode of Deskside Diaries. It's the holiday season, which means that the new year is rapidly approaching, which for me means that I am purging my closet. I'm getting rid of things that I feel like you know, definitely aren't gonna be on trend for 2017, but there's also, that being said, gonna be some amazing pieces that we can take all the way through spring. Without further ado, here are a few of the key pieces that you should be saving and stashing for 2017. So we'll start with winter's staple, the coat. Um, through the spring, we're gonna be seeing a lot of trends that kind of feel a bit more fun. We've got the leopard jacket. The leopard jacket comes and goes with, I mean, it's been in and out of you know trends for so many years now, but for spring 2017, we're definitely seeing a return of the leopard. And in a bit more of, um, like look for pieces that have a bit more of a unique pattern to it. So instead of like really um, heavy splotchy pattern, maybe look for something that feels like this. So you see like this has a bit more of like a softer mirror print to it. Um, also nothing that feels like heavy like fur, maybe something that feels like a little bit like mohair. Moving on, again, still keeping on jackets to save. You wanna definitely keep all of your military jackets. Military jackets are huge through the spring. Um, cropped or long as this one here. This I got on Goodnight Macaroon and it hits uh, you know, right below my hips so it's really nice to kind of like feel cozy. Um, this would be definitely be something that I bring to New York whereas this military style that's a bit more cropped, I can wear like you know, in the freezing cold California winters. <laughs> Moving on to skirts, I think that we all saw, you know, there's there's so much going on right now. You can do a fan pleat, you can do a car wash pleat, you can do um, fringe. There's so many different things you can do, but I think for me, I'm gonna be stashing my fringe and the car wash pleats. I'm keeping to something that feels a little bit more elevated. Um, I love the elegant look of just a really classic fan pleat. I love the movement that it gives, and clearly I have a few options that I am bringing into spring. I love the blush tones, but also what's really great for holidays is maybe like a copper tone. It just gives your look a little bit more movement with like a structured blazer or even like a crop sweater. I love the look with like a little booty. Another thing to save for spring is anything pink. I'm currently loving this Ann Taylor jacket. Um, I love how it kind of has like a little bubblegum pink to it. When you're wearing something that feels a little bit louder, definitely stick to more neutral color palette underneath. Another great piece that we've seen go in and out of style through the years is high-waisted. I know we saw a lot of it last fall, but it's sticking around for 2017. So anything high-waisted, high-waisted skirts, high-waisted trousers. These are one of my favorite pairs. I'm sure you've seen them all over the blog and Instagram. These are by Max & Co. And these are like real high-rise. I mean, they come up to like here on me. And I think there's something really elegant about creating a shape with your waist, and high-waisted has a really great way of doing that. And you don't need to be worried about being super stick thin to pull off high-waisted, because if you wanna do high-waisted and you, you're a bit more curvy, just do a wider trouser at the bottom. If you're super skinny, just do like a really tapered leg. We've got these, and these kind of hug your ankles really nicely. Okay, are you ready? to see what to stash. These are the things that I'm kind of seeing might be phasing out this spring. Okay, so I'm totally guilty of this, I have to admit. Off the shoulder and big billowy blouses were huge last summer. And while I love them, I kind of think that we might be seeing a trend towards something different this season. So when we have pieces like this, I mean, how much fun is this? One shoulder, totally ruffled. I wore the heck out of this last summer, but I think I'm gonna stash it and save it for my little girl one day when she's born. <laughs> Another example is this ruffle top. I mean, there's just so much fabric. <laughs> and last but not least, we also have this. I, I think it's they're really fun and playful. But um, I think for spring, we're definitely gonna be seeing a bit more of the tapered um, bell sleeve. So instead of big volume, we'll be seeing a more tapered sleeve with more of a bell on it. I think it's more of a refined look uh, that I'm really excited about seeing. 
In addition to that, we saw return of the 90s. Everybody was putting white tees underneath slip dresses. Again, I think it's a really cute look, but um, I think for spring, try to elevate that look and, and you know take away the t-shirt, layer on a bunch of necklaces, and have it feel a bit more playful in that sense, as opposed to like putting a white t-shirt under something. Okay, so this is one of the pieces that I spoke to um, about switching out your fringe for a fan pleat. I think Fringe has a really great place at Coachella. Maybe save this, but um, you can put it away for a few months <laughs> until festival season is back. One of the other things that I absolutely loved playing with for, I don't know, maybe like three years now is these voluminous, high-waisted sheer skirts. I don't know if you guys can see the sheerness of this. While a lot of styles are going towards more volume, I think that more volume is coming through on our tops and our blouses um, and not on the bottom. So we wanna look for a more tailored trouser or skirt and not so much volume on the bottom. As you can see, it's like breaking the hanger. So we're gonna have to stash this one. <laughs> All right, so again, these are just my predictions. You always wanna wear what you feel most comfortable in. You never wanna like stick to trends. I personally choose to remain a classic over any kind of, you know, giving into any kind of trends. Um, but I definitely do think that there's certain things that I like to pick up on, like maybe just going in a different direction in a sleeve or volume. So it's fun to kind of keep track of those things. And as I was cleaning out my closet, I was like, I feel like this would make a cute YouTube video. Be sure to head over to the blog to see a lot more about all of the trends that I spoke about today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week.